Welcome to another module in our Airway series. This one, how to place an LMA in a live demonstration. This is part two in this series. In part one, I showed how to use the LMA with the use of a mannequin, in which I emphasized the anatomy and I paused to emphasize subtle aspects in its placement. Therefore, it's important to watch part one of this series prior to watching this segment. Thanks for watching and thanks for learning with us. Medical Specialists Associates, making medical education more accessible. So we're going to be placing an LMA in a uh, gentleman. In men, we usually put a size 4 or 5. In females, we put either usually a size 3 or 4. Here, what I usually do is I put my LMA in while it's inflated. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little air in. And I put a little air in here, get nice and firm. Note that this particular LMA does not have any bars going across it down. This is important because the extra procedure that we're putting this LMA in for, we're actually going to have a bronchoscope go through it so it'll be easier not to have any impediments down here through this opening. We also have here a little lubrication to put the uh, LMA in as well. So we are just pre-oxygenating our patient right here. The pre-oxygenation um, helps take out all the nitrogen out of the lungs and allows us a longer time to place our device. Usually about two or three minutes is, uh, is sufficient. We're going to go ahead and do our induction for our LMA. This is going to be 200 milligrams of propofol. That's about the usual intubation dose for about a 100 kilogram male, about anywhere from 2 to 2.5 milligrams per kilogram. put a little lubrication on the LMA. I have another syringe available if I need to put any more air into it. I just allow a little time for that medication to sink in. We're going to go ahead and bag a little bit here while we're waiting for that to come in. Now recall here that we're going to hold our LMA as a pencil here, and I usually open up the mouth like that, and I can just slide this straight back. I use my finger here to push back into the posterior part of the pharynx. I can feel it seed when it goes back. I usually just pick up the jaw here and just make sure it's seated well. And I, even though we did it, we, uh, we put the LMA in when it had air up, um, I just usually put a little more air in there so it seats a little better. And then we reconnect, and there we go, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching and learning with us today. If you're interested in taking this class for credit, or if you're interested in our other services, such as our direct clinical care services, please visit our website at www.med-specialist.net, or click on the link in the description below. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on our most current content and educational opportunities.